uh, Camus from Spike Tap. Hi. Um, yeah, Cruz, you can answer this if you want. Um, I basically just wanted to question you about your picks in the last map. Uh, you pretty much mirrored their comp on Icebox. And I wanted to know if you guys had practiced it before, if it was something you did on the fly and just thought um, it looked cool or what went into that. To be honest, we used it against them before in scrims. And then they changed to our comp. But they had the chance to use it first. So, but they, and they did it better. Thank you. Are there any more questions for Talon? Hey, Miss, did you have one more? No, I think that was a hand that went down. Uh, just give it one more minute. Talon, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us.
Hello, everyone. We are joined by DRX, who are coming off of their victory against Talon Esports. Please use the Zoom hand raise function to ask a question, and then we will call on you. Uh, let us begin with FOMOS. Thank you. Uh, 승리 축하드립니다. Uh, uh, 감독님께 질문 드리겠습니다. Uh, 우선 오늘 경기 총평을 좀 부탁드리고요. 그리고 어제 승자 인터뷰 때 아이스박스 맵에 대한 하버 대책이 존재한다고 하셨는데 이게 오늘 경기 중에는 잘 드러났다고 생각하시는지 의견 듣고 싶습니다. 어, 사실 오늘 아이스박스는 굉장히 힘든 경기였고 뭐 저희가 대처를 잘 하지 못했다고 생각하고 상대도 굉장히 잘 했기 때문에 그런 좀 대등한 경기가 나오지 않았나 싶고요. 사실 오늘 경기 총평은 탈론이 잘하는 거는 대충 알고는 있었는데 저희가 직접 느끼기에는 그래도 세계 무대 탑 레벨 정도는 되는 팀이라고 저희는 오늘은 느꼈거든요. 그 정도로 탈론이 오늘 잘했다고 생각하고 뭐 퍼시픽 리그의 그 레벨이 좀더 올라온 것 같아서 한편으로는 기분이 좋고요. 그리고 어 저희가 오늘 유독 좀 힘든 경기를 좀 했는데 시작이 좋지 못했고 탈론이 탈론이 잘 되는 날 그리고 저희가 오늘 좀 못하는 날이 좀 겹쳐진 것 같은 느낌은 조금은 있었거든요. 네, 그런 부분 때문에 좀 힘들었던 것 같습니다. So the question was for uh, Coach Termi, and the question was overall the general thoughts on the matchup, and also uh, yesterday you talked about having a solution to teams countering the harbor. So uh, what do you think happened on Icebox? And his answer was, well, Icebox was definitely tough um, because Talon played really well. Um, we had a hard time adjusting to what they were bringing to table. So I think that's one of the reasons why our Icebox struggled a little bit. And overall uh, evaluation of the matchup would be that we knew that Talon was a strong team, but we, I never kind of placed them on the top tier uh, list of all the teams in the world. But today, uh, that kind of changed my perception. I think they're going to do pretty well and very well uh, in the international stage. And um, I'm glad that the whole competitive level in the Asia Pacific region has gone up. Um, also, I just feel like they were really feeling it on the day. And for us, it was just one of those days uh, not a great day at work. I guess those two days kind of like overlap today. Thank you. Uh, we'll take the next question from Camus. Go ahead. Hi. Uh, yeah, um, this is for, I guess, anyone. I just wanted to ask about the comp. Um, I asked Talon the same thing, and I actually asked you the other day as well. But um, the comp on Icebox, um, did you expect them to pull that out? And then I also wanted to ask you the origin of the comp, because when I asked them about it, they said that you guys played it against each other in scrims and that you actually got the chance to play it on stage before them. So I wanted to ask you about that as well. 아무나 대답해 주시면 되는데요. 일단 아이스박스에서 보여준 조합에 대한 질문이라고 합니다. 어, 탈론한테도 똑같은 어, 질문을 했었는데 일단 그 조합의 아이디어는 어디서 나온 건지 궁금하다고 해요. 이 똑같은 조합을 탈론도 스크림에서 썼었고 또 서로 스크림에서 만나본 적도 있다고 탈론이 얘기를 했었는데 그리고 탈론이 오늘 아이스박스에서 그런 조합을 갖고 나올 줄 예상했는지 혹은 아이스박스를 픽할 줄 예상했는지 궁금하다고 합니다. 제가 이건 대답하겠습니다. 어, 하버에 대한 아이디어 자체는 사실 어, 세이지가 벽이 너프 되면서 자연스럽게 좀그 시기에 모든 팀들이 생각을 했던 것 같고 어, 탈론 저희가 탈론이랑 스크림을 했지만 탈론 뿐만이 아니라 한국의 많은 팀들이 사실 이미 하버를 한달 전부터 쓰고 있었기 때문에 좋은 거는 그 전부터 알고 있었고 어, 탈론이랑 스크림 했을 때도 탈론이 저희랑 지금 똑같은 조합으로 연습을 했었는데 오늘 그 조합을 들고 나올 것도 예상을 했었고 픽은 뭐 뱀픽적인 문제라서 크게 뭐 개의치 않았고요. 네. 뭐 그렇습니다. Well, first, I got to tell you about Harbor. Um, I think ever since Sage's wall got nerfed, a lot of teams have kind of uh, tried uh, running Harbor instead of the Sage for his cope. And uh, we knew that Talon was running the same comp. Uh, we scrimmed against them running that comp. But other teams in Korea, a lot of them are already running Harbor for a while. And um, yeah, so we kind of did expect Talon to pull out that comp on Icebox. Thank you. We'll go next to Juan Pablo Torres from Prensa Esports. Yeah, thank you. My question is for Ceres. So that round where you made five eliminations in the pistol round that happened was like a turning point in the map, but also in the series. So how do you lift them out? 
Can you repeat the question a little bit slowly? Uh, sorry. Uh, is for Cest and that round where you made five eliminations in the pistol rounds, Heaven was like a turning point in the map and in the series. So how do you leave the moment? And this question is for Stacks? Zest. For Zest. Yes, thank you. What do you mean five eliminations? Pistol round the day, Sango Ah, Ace, yeah. Ah, good that Sangang Jum Sarmang is here. Oh, Sangdega Pokto Choguro, Bani, Tirol, and Golchega, Ikiringa, some kill Jongdo Hago, Site, Hamyongi Toys, or Timon, Pegob, Kidarimans, or Potego, it on Sangang Yoko. The Kasangang is a joy, Pegob, Tiri Tachugo, or Jega, Site, Jongli Hago, Bajima, Gilte, it is a Sumida. Well, uh, I was able to pick up two to three kills in the uh, hallway, but and then I was holding the site, waiting for my teammates for a backup, but then my teammates uh, couldn't make it. So I ended up uh, doing 1v1 at the end, and that's how the ace happened. Thank you. We'll go next to Solji from BLR and Blix. Uh, this question is for Stacks. So uh, you'll be facing a rematch against Loud in the semis if you win today. Do you think you can take them down this time without Loud having Sassy and Pankata? 어 일단은 음, 이길 수 있을 거라고 생각은 하지만 굉장히 어려울 것 같고요. 저번에도 한번 저희가 진 적이 있어가지고 그래서 일단은 해봐야 알겠지만 그래도 이제 그래도 조금 힘든 경기가 되지 않을까 탈론 같이 그렇게 생각합니다. Well, I definitely think it's doable, but it's going to be tough, though, um, because they've beaten us before with their previous roster. We'll just have to wait and see. Um, but I can tell you that it's going to be a tough one, just like this one against Talon. Thanks. Uh, and then we'll go to Michael Czar from Upcomer. Hi, uh, this will be for Mako. Uh, obviously, with this win, uh, not only do you get the top four, but this marks two back-to-back -back top four finishes in international tournaments. Um, after some struggles earlier on in international lands with this core, how does it feel to have consistently good finishes like your last two? 일단 마코 선수를 위한 질문인데요. 이렇게 이번 대회에서도 탑포를 확정 지으면서 지난해부터 좋은 성적을 이어가고 있는데 어 예전에 좀 국제 무대에서 함께 고전했던 멤버들과 함께 이렇게 좋은 성적을 낸다는 게 어떤 의미인지 궁금합니다. 일단은 시간을 허투루 보내지 않았다는 점과 이제 이렇게 계속 꾸준히 끈끈하게 같이 있던 점과 이제 음 그냥 되게 잘 해줬던 것 같아요 모든 선수들이 이제 불평 불만도 되게 많았을 텐데 좀 그런 거 고비 좀 겪진 않았는데 일단은 그런 거 넘어가면서 뭐 되게 끈끈한 사이 때문에 잘해진 것 같아요. 네. Well, to answer your question, um, I feel like all the time and effort that we put into this team and working together was not lost in vain. And I'm so glad that we're able to uh, be doing this well. And uh, it was, you know, these results tell us that it was worth sticking together and pushing through tough times. And I'm grateful for my teammates to be able to do that. Thank you. Uh, I believe that was the last question of the press conference. So this is last call for any more questions. DRX, thank you so much for taking thank the time you. to speak with us. Thank, thank you very much.